Well, let's get started. Let's do it. Something wrong? Here we go.
that's nostalgic. Good evening. Party of three? Yeah. Anyone you're here to see? Sachan, I, I mean, Saiko-san, please. Right away, sir. <laughs> My apologies. You have guests at table three. All right, folks, that's my cue. <laughs> Hear you, son? <laughs> this is certainly a surprise. Uh, I see. So Kiryu san's going through cancer. Yeah, believe me, I was shocked when I heard the news, too. But right now, we're focused on finding ways to move through it together. Got it. So that's why you're doing a bucket list. Yeah. And with any luck, he's gonna check off everything on it. Sunhee and I are helping him as best we can. Gosh, just hearing that is getting me all fired up. <laughs> I knew you were our go-to gal, Sachan. I wasn't sure if just the two of us could pull it off. Thought we might need an extra hand. Aha! And that's where I come in? <laughs> you bet it is. I take it you'll join us? As if I'd pass on that. Besides, you wouldn't stand a chance without me. So sit back and enjoy the ride, Kiryu-san. I'll get you wherever you need to go. Uh, would I be a burden on you? Oh, please. That's the last thing you'd be. We've teamed up before, and we can do it again. Not to mention, your party could use a little feminine balance, no? Huh. What a curious thing to say. Then, if we're so lacking in that department, I'd love to see what you bring to the table. Fine by me. I was looking for a challenge anyway. Hey, what's the deal with those two? <laughs> They're enjoying a little bonding time, is all. Well, with that being said, I'm looking forward to tonight, Kiryu-san. All right, we got Sachan on board. Now it's Kiryu-san himself requested. Let's go do some karaoke on the double. You know, I was a little surprised. Hmm? I thought you might push harder for Kiryu-san to get treated, especially considering your background and all. To be honest, I wish I could. Then it's like talking to a brick wall. Hmm? It's this curious son, remember? You can't talk him into anything he doesn't want to do. But, the doctor said something that stuck with me. That a friend could change his mind down the road. So I figured I'd switch my approach. We'll have curious son try to enjoy every last moment to the fullest. Eventually he'll think, man, isn't it great to be alive? And after that, after that, he'll change his mind and want to live? That's the plan. I need to let Sachan in on it, too, so we'll all know what this bucket list is there for. You'll help, too, won't you? I'm not letting him go out without a fight. Yeah, right there with you. Hey, Nanchan. Is Ichiban doing okay? 
Well, he stirred up all kinds of trouble in Hawaii. But for him, that's nothing unusual. Right, Kiryu-san? Yeah. When I first bumped into him, he was running around in handcuffs. <laughs> he doesn't change at all, does he? I take it that means you're worried about him? Not so much. I was just asking, that's all. Yeah? You say so. Don't slow down on my account. Nani Mitiagara. Suguni Nakuni. Well, let's get started. Allow me. Get serious. Now then. Huh? Ready for the knockout. Kawabunga! <laughs>
Here you go. My thanks. It's my turn. You're gonna get stomped. No! No! Oh, oh. I won't hold back. where this came from. Whew. We should relish this moment. <sighs> hey, Hamako-san. Well, if it isn't Sayako. How's business? Raking in the cash, on? Huh? My club's doing okay. What about your place? Now, if you're doing okay, then we must be more or less the same. Eh, not much to do during slow hours, you know. Anyway, I see you brought an unfamiliar face with you. I've only recently arrived in town. My name is Taichi Suzuki. <laughs> Come on now. What's with the fake name? Huh? Uh... What fake name? <laughs> Don't play dumb with me. That awkward introduction of yours made it so obvious. Was it really that awkward? Maybe it's better if we just cut the bullshit with her. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Everyone's already in the know about your aliens. Fine then, I'll play along. Tai Chi Suzuki-san, was it? <laughs> I guess there's no fooling you, Hamako-san. <laughs> Don't take it too hard, sweetheart. Stay in business long enough in this town and you'll end up just like me. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. This is Hamako-san. She's been in Ijincho longer than I have. She's like the underboss of this town. Or perhaps more aptly, a ghost haunting it. <laughs> so what's the story? You girls dump Ichiban for a new man? Suzuki-san here helped me and Kasuga out of a bind. He's even more notorious than I am in the underground. Careful not to show disrespect, lest you embarrass yourself. Enough of that. Keep up that talk and I'd be the one disrespecting Hamako-san. Oh, looks like we have a real gentleman here. You treat all the ladies this way? And how do you know Ichiban? How should I put this? Uh... The two of us used to work for the same company, although we never met back then. Ichiban really respects Suzuki-san. Oh, right, the two of them were in Hawaii until recently, too. Huh, you guys must be real close if you went on vacation together. All right then, Suzuki-san, why don't you stay a while? Have some tea with me. Just you and me? What? I'm not gonna eat you up or anything. Oh, are you too busy to have one cup of tea with an old hag like me? All right, let's have that cup of tea. Now we're talking. Head on upstairs, I'll get everything ready. Is this your shop? Sure is. On the outside, we're an eating house. Normally, you'd be serviced by some girls. But if you're looking for that kind of special treatment, come back another time. Of course, I'll have to charge you for that. <laughs> no, I'm fine. We're what society would call a shady business. Remember that politician, Ryo Aoki? A few years back, he came to Ijincho. He made this bold claim that Bleach Japan, the MPO, would build shelters. Said that girls who work in places like this, and their families, 
could live there free of charge and get job training. Sounded like a brilliant idea. Now that's real philanthropy, I thought. He even told me I could be the dorm mother. So I was near ready to sell this place off. Why is this place still standing? Because that shelter was a bald-faced lie. Ryo Aoki's true objective was to gain popularity and gather votes by wiping out the Grey Zones and everyone in it. I made my girls go to a shelter, but it ended up being a mousetrap. <laughs> Lion's Lair, actually. Yeah, they were all arrested and deported. The ones working here now are all new. The kind of girls who come work for me don't even have family back home. That's why they stay here in the Jean Show. I was duped all because I was careless. Now I have no idea how any of those poor souls are doing. I see. Sorry to hear it. But it sounds like you had no way of knowing that happened. But the thing is, I should have known. Ichiban and them saw right through Rio Aoki. They even had their suspicions about the shelter. Now they tried to warn me, but I still went and got myself fooled. I even yelled at Ichiban, telling him not to doubt Aoki's good intentions. You're not the one at fault, Hamako-san. It's Ryo Aoki. I know that, sure. But... Never got to apologize to Ichiban for yelling at him. <laughs> now it's been years since, so I completely botched the timing. And knowing him, he might not even remember that one minor detail. So I wondered, maybe I don't need to apologize. And I never stopped wondering since. Is that why you decided to confide in me? So I could be your messenger? Come on. I'm not that shameless. Nah, I just... I just wanted someone to hear me out, I guess. But there's no way I could tell Namba or Saiko. Nah, I don't need them seeing me weak and vulnerable. And you thought I'd be a good confidant? Well, Ichiban respects you, doesn't he? And you were with him until recently. Anyway, did you say anything about me while you two were off in Hawaii? I think he might have told me he's over it now, or something. I didn't mean to put you on the spot there. Yeah, I take it he never mentioned me, did he? And again, why would he? I didn't even know Ichiban was overseas. I highly doubt he holds it against you. He's not the kind of guy who'd bear a grudge. <laughs> Sorry for taking up your time on my petty little issues. I feel bad. Don't worry about it. We all have those nagging doubts in our heads. You're not alone on that. Even if you want to forget. You can't. Because you never got the closure you needed. Closure? Hmm. <laughs> when you get to be my age, you're always gonna have unfinished business. Right. I feel the same way. But recently, some things came up in my life that got me thinking. Tying up all those loose ends made me realize that. No one can live life without having a single regret. That's impossible. But you can take matters into your own hands and try to make the best of what life dealt you. So you're saying I ought to apologize to Ichiban? Well, what if he says, I don't remember anything like that and laughs in my face for bringing it up now? If he finds out that it's been eating at you for a long time, there's no way he'd laugh. That's just how he is. <laughs> I promise you that. I think I get why you've got Saiko and Sun He waiting on you hand and foot. They're doing what? <laughs> Did you really have to put it that way? <laughs> well, at any rate, I do feel better after talking to you, Suzuki-san. Now I'm actually looking forward to the next time I see Ichiban. That's so. <laughs> Glad to hear. Also, the tea was delicious. I should get going now. 
Now don't tell Psycho or anyone about this. You hear? After all, I'm supposed to be some hardened old ghost. So I can't have them think I've gone soft. Don't worry. I can keep a secret. Thanks for the tea. And take care. Taichi Suzuki, was it? <laughs> Whoever he was, he must be a great man. No problem so far. Uh, I need to get back to my boxing gym. You take. Boxing classes? Yeah, it was originally just part of my diet routine, but it's really a lot of fun and a great stress reliever. My trainer thinks I've got a knack for it, too. Hey, that's great. Yeah, I'll back you up if you're ever in a tight spot. You know, the old one, two. Good to know. I could definitely use it. Things are going well. this work I'm not leaving until it's perfect This with those shoes. Uh, I don't know about this. Maybe it's time I change styles. 